Hi guys and welcome to C Sharp tutorial of how to generate alphabet using while loop. Okay, let me show you guys how this works. I'm going to double click on this list box and here is a rich text box. So if I click on this button here, there we go. Just keep clicking and there, just using while loop. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into C Sharp development environment and we put one of these together. I've just click on create new. So let's click on next. And let's just call that CS underscore alphabet. And click on create. Okay, my development environment is ready. I'm going to select the properties and let's increase the form size to something a little bit more, more readable. So let's make that about 500. There we go. Now, I'm going to come straight into the straight onto the toolbox and let's look for the following. I need a list box need a label one button and rich text box Let's see there we go there that's the rich text box just drag it that much that is fine the button paste the button there label goes right there and the list box Let's bring that down something like that yeah I think that would do okay so let's give them all a name so this rich text box is going to be known as let's say RT RT alphabet And the label that's going to be known as LST alphabet. The button is going to be known as BTN alphabet. Let's grab hold of the button BTN alphabet and the text content on it i'm just going to change that to generate or we can say a to z generator a to the t z generator there we go i'm gonna get it centered and i will also increase the fonts and let's change the text of the list box label as well there now let's increase the font i'm going to select it all and just increase the font to something much more readable so let's make that bold and come right here and i'm going to select about or we can just make that 40. there we go and that's it. Let's move this up a little bit. And this, we align it properly. Let's go straight into auto size, make that force so that I can resize it myself. There we go. And get it centered. Come right here and look for align center. That's fine. Why loop alphabet? Now double click on this button here. There. And right here, I'm going to enter as follows. First of all, I'm going to create a chart there. A character. And I'll just call that CH. And the value of CH is apostrophe A. There. That's my first. So the CH character is initialized with letter A. So I'm going to come right down here and just say Y. C 
CH is less than and equals to apostrophe. Let's say apostrophe Z. Enter statement block, and I'm just gonna say LST alphabet. As for the list box, to do as follows. Very good. And let's repeat the same thing for RT alphabet. In the case of RT alphabet, that is going to be. Let's get this sorted properly. Cut that off and paste it underneath here. RT alphabet dot append text. Open the brackets. Uh, we have to convert it because the rich text box only accept string character so convert that to string character that is good and in here I'm just gonna say plus speech mark and enter tab tab then right underneath here let's say ch my variable plus plus enter semicolon and that's it so with these few lines of codes, we should be able to generate alphabet. So let's save and run. Click on start. And that's it guys. Just click on the button. Check that out. You see that? That is how you generate your own alphabet using Y loop. Have a good look at the lines of code one more time. And we can even click it. So if we double click on the, let's double click on list box. Come straight to the properties of the list box. Select event. Let's look for double click. Double click on that and paste that in there. In this case, we just say dot clear. Dot clear. There we go. And repeat the same thing for the for the rich text box. Clear that as well now run there generate generate double click there we go that's how you generate your own alphabet using a while loop so i'm going to call it bye for now you all have a nice day